Yeah, Melissa, we've been out here for about four hours now and crews have started to clear out. So we've been able to get a lot closer to the fire. If you will follow me, we can kind of get a closer look. As you can see, everything is pretty much scorched. I mean, melted metal beams. These doors are just completely covered in smoke and damage everywhere. I mean, I you can't smell it, obviously, but the smell is just crazy. It's complete smoke, scorched everything. I mean, it's crazy to look at that the fire was so powerful. It was able to just melt all of these railings and, and everything all the way up to the top. And even the, the trees and the bushes around here, everything is just completely scorched. And like you said, luckily they were able to get everyone out. Only one person was minorly injured. We were able to get more information from officials and we also spoke with a neighbor. Uh, as you can see, we had multi units behind us damaged. The good news is there was one minor injury, but really no one was transported to the hospital, so really could have been much worse. Our units got here quickly, got a good knock on the fire, and uh, actually helped a bunch of people out of the units behind me. So all things considered, with a lack of serious injury, uh, it was a good stop for our crews, um, and it will be under investigation. Unfortunately, we did lose two cats. We got one out, but everyone is safe and sound and we're just very lucky, I guess, that we were up to uh, see it. Because the crews have cleared out, River Oaks Drive is open, so it should be okay to drive around in the area now. We're working to get more information. As you know, the fire is still under investigation, but we will keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting live in Horry County, Taylor Maresca, News 13.